Hi everyone and welcome back to VFXY once again. So in today's video, we are going to do a very interesting video and that video will be inside Unreal Engine. And this time we are going to use AI to create our assets and let's see how we can incorporate 3D models created by AI platforms and how to use it in Unreal Engine. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to use a website called Hun Yuan 3D, might be I'm pronouncing wrong. And when you're going to open website, it will be in Chinese. So you have to take care about that. And also it will be in China. So what you have to do, just go uh, here and you have to go to translate and you have to translate it to English, right? And once you have translated, what you have to do, just you have to do login and you can log in via your mail and all. So let me do that and I'll come back once this is done. Okay, so I did my login and all. And here you have multiple assets available already created by other users. You can see. And if you're going to click any one of them, you can download it and you can use it for your personal projects. But here i'm going to tell you what you can do so we have two types of image or 3d mesh creation remember this is not an image creation this is a 3d mesh creation right so first one is vincent 3d and uh, here you can type something and it will uh, give you a 3d mesh based upon your prompt and also you have tushang 3d which will create mesh whatever image you have provided right so let's go to text uh, 3d and uh, I can type like give me a old rusted military helmet something like this might be i can say and best part is you can use pvr method for your texturing purposes and just i'm giving give me a old rusted military helmet and i'm going to generate it will give me four options of course it will take some time and if you can see today's remaining generation time is 17 already i have used two or three might be it's, it's giving us 20 generation per day so you have to take care about that so it will take some time and once this is done i'll come back and as you can see, it's giving me four variation of mesh and all. It's all coming pretty nicely. Now texture has been generated. It will take few seconds, might be. It's almost three to four minutes. And I'm having four variation. If you can see the model generation is going on. Now texture will happen. And now as you can see how things are coming. So now everything is created and you can see it's coming pretty nicely. I'm loving this one as well. I'm loving this one as well, but best one is this. So let me click on it and let's see what we are getting. So this is what we have. You can rotate it and you can see what's going on. You can click on this. It will keep rotating. You can see gray model. You can see your albedo. You can see your normal. What else you want? So this is one way to create anything and yes you can uh, do modifications and all it's all up to you another way which i like the most is to shank 3d you can import any image and keep it in mind it took me almost six to seven minutes to create all meshes and textures as well so now i have few assets like so let me drag and drop this image and let's wait to upload and it's scanned and upload a uh, little trick just try to keep your asset on white background so if your object is on white background it will work pretty fine right so now i'm having this and i'm going to click generate now and let's see what this website is giving us my mesh has been created and you can see it's coming out pretty nice i cannot believe this what this ai technology or ai can do if i have to model this at least it will take me one or two days to model to unwrap to texture and this website or any 3d platform which is giving uh, mesh via text inputs or image inputs just amazing just amazing oh my goodness I have given only front part and if you can see it gives us a back, a top, a bottom. My goodness, can you believe this? So this is my white model. 
this is my diffuse this is my normal awesome just awesome now i think it will give us uh, animation kind of stuff as well i am not sure how to do that i haven't explored this website yet if you want to do it just do it but right now if i want to export this thing to my unreal engine so how we can do that here is the download format you can download it in jlb obj fbx stl usdj mp4 gif you can export it whatever you want i am going to select jlb and I'm going to download and let's jump to Unreal Engine. Okay, so let's let's quickly set up our scene. So I'm going over here and I'm going to create a plane and might be I will reset it to 000 and 20 by 20 I can use like this. Also, I'm going over here in my content drawer and I'll go to fab and in mega scan I can go to surfaces and might be I can apply one texture to it what next so i'm going over here already i have made this project but uh, over here i'm going to create a new folder and that will be for yt and over here i'm going to import my asset which is treasure chest i'm going over here and i'll drag and drop it will ask multiple things but directly i'm going to import it and it started importing my mesh my materials my maps so if you can see i'm having mesh i'm having my albedo or base color i'm having my texture pack which is ambient occlusion roughness and i have displacement so it's giving us everything and normal as well and as soon as i'm going to drag and drop hit f1 keyboard voila can you see that so i am having my treasure chest and it's freaking amazing isn't it can you see this so this is what ai can do so definitely we need to explore it more so if i'll go over here so i'm going over here and in my asset whatever i have created over here so you can see i have created this i have create, tried creating um one of my asset I have created this, I have created a dagger, I have created a Roman helmet as well. So let's create one scene and let's see how we can use it. So in this thing only what I'm going to do, I'm going over here and I'm going to take a cine camera actor and probably I will keep it like this. Let's do it quickly. Already I've created, but let me show you how I can do that. And definitely I will start placing my camera. And also, I'll put my camera on 50 mm. I want a little close up kind of stuff. Also, just to bring it to focus, I'm going to adjust my focal plane over here, and that thing will be in focus. And also, I'm going over here in foliage mode, and probably I will go over here in plants, and might be I'll do static meshes. And also, what I'll do, I'll select few plants like this might be this might be this 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 and i'll drag and drop and quickly i'll go over here i can select everything i'll go down might be point two and point four i have to work on this thing and i'll start painting things like this can you see that and might be you can say it's not coming the way it should be your grasses are not looking the way it should be so what i can do normally i used to prefer i'll go over here in my camera actor and let me paint over here i'm going to select the debris and all and i'll drag and drop and probably i'll select all of them and i will go might be point three to point five oh, no i have to paint and check might be i can increase size like 0.5 to 1 little bigger little i'll do something like that quickly and also i'll go to my selection mode and i will go over here and i'll select each and every light aspects like sky atmosphere and i'll delete it simple i don't want anything i'll go over here and in lighting i'll take one hdri backdrop right and i will place it like this and might be I'll do scaling like 1500 or somewhat. Now, if you can see how my lighting is coming, 
definitely if needed i can do a directional lighting but i don't think so i'll be needing any directional lighting in all and probably i'll select uh, grasses and might be i can go to my plants and i'll select more plants i'll select few plants and i'll keep painting you never know and if, if you can see no i don't want this might be i'll exit i'll keep painting it and you know the drill so this is what i have i have created thing and let me show it to you another project which i have created so i'll go over here and i'll go to my content and i will do main save selected everything i will select and if you can see by same way i am using this thing and if i am going over here in rendering and if i'll select camera cuts and if you can see and if i'm going to play so these all three assets have been created using the same website and it's coming out pretty nicely isn't it so definitely i'll suggest everyone to go and check whatever platform you are getting like 3d to mesh or text to mesh or text to 3d you can try it out and you can use it in a very creative way so i hope this video is very helpful to you and you have some different perspective to see ai tools like this and you can utilize these options and you can make your portfolio better so with this said this is vfxy signing off have a good day